OK, gents, very good evening to you. Good to see you. We're going to start off with uh, the Telegraph England manager Gareth Southgate's comments on, on VAR today. And he's criticised the, the whole system and he hasn't been subtle in doing so, Joe. John, it seems like, you know, uh, he, he, Gareth Southgate is you know, quite happy to be very, very transparent about what he feels about the video assistant referee. Yeah, I was at St George's Park today, actually, and it was almost you pays your money, you takes your choice, really, when you look at the back pages. And because Gareth Southgate, lots of interesting things to say, whether it be on, on VAR, the 2030 World Cup, Bakayo Saka's on sort of going injury things. But, I mean, we, we actually went with the um, VAR on the back of the mirror. And, um, frankly, because it's just, a, you know, it's so topical this week, I must say I thought the story had run out of steam. But, frankly, when you've got the England manager saying how much he, he, he dislikes it, when you've got his reasoning, and he does go into some depth um, about it, really, sort of saying, you know, when he was allowed, sort of kind of, he, he was always brought up to respect the referee. Wow, we, we was kind of clamour for those days now, don't we, after this week? It's been very bruising for referees. Um, but also kind of, I, I, I liked his um, point about fans in the stadium. It's the fans in the stadium now. And he was making the point, a lot of these people are paying a lot of money um, to, to go to matches and they're the last to know. You know, they, they're kept in the dark by VAR and it's it's just not working. And and kind of, I think we all all thought, and Southgate makes this point as well, that it would de destroy the kind of pub debate, you know, whether the referee got it wrong, whether it's onside or offside. Well, frankly, we're debating it more than ever, aren't we really? And listen, is it going to go anywhere? I, I, you know, absolutely not. We're not going to get rid of VAR, but I do think what Liverpool have shown us is, is it's time, I think, to 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 sort of shine a light. Admit it's not working uh, as we'd like it at the moment. It needs drastic improvement, and I think the more people bring it to that attention, put the focus on it, the better. And when you've got the England manager saying how much he dislikes it, then I do think it adds even more weight. Yes, you're probably right in terms of the ultimate outcome won't be any different, John. But it's, it's I suppose, the, the strength of the sentiment, the clarity of his, of his message, if you like, Gareth Southgate. He says, I'm probably a bit old-fashioned. The ref gives the decision. Let's crack on. We've got to deal with whatever happens. OK, so even if the outcome doesn't change, Jonathan, I suppose, how does it change the direction of this conversation and what happens with VAR and the, the idea of the semi-automated system potentially coming in? What's your read on the situation now after Gareth Southgate's comments? Well, I mean, I, I will just point out that Gareth Southgate didn't, didn't have a problem with VAR when it awarded Harry Kane a penalty in the in the last <laughs> ten minutes of a World Cup for the final uh, for, for Harry Kane. Uh, you know, I, I think uh, obviously Harry Kane missed that penalty, and obviously Liverpool you know, didn't lose that game because of, of VAR. Liverpool Liverpool lost to Tottenham because their centre half booted the ball into the back of his net, own net, in the ninety sixth minute. Uh, players. And not referees and not technology will we'll always win and lose games on the pitch. Uh, anyway, that, that, that's what I have to say about that. In terms of you know where this takes the conversation, I think uh, the main the main upshot from you know maybe the last week, but actually a lot of the trends and a lot of the um, the opprobrium and the the disdain that's been aimed at VAR from from fans across the game in the last you know in the last few months. There was a, a danger, I think, or, or you know, there was certainly a strong possibility that VAR would end up being ex extended, that you would en eventually move down the path towards a game that was being uh, essentially officiated remotely, that it wouldn't just be goal line technology, it wouldn't just be goals, it wouldn't just be penalties, that, you know, you, you would eventually see kind of semi-automated technology or, or some kind of, you know, video technology used in, in most parts of the game. I think that has been forestalled now. I don't think we're going to see that. I'm not sure we're going to see VAR rolled back because, you know, the game's authorities are incredibly stubborn, uh, if nothing else. And and they don't they they're not going to be want they're not going to want to be seen to, to go back on on this this big seismic change of the game that they brought. But uh I, I think a lot of the you know the slide towards an ever more technocratic game that that people uh, a lot of fans would have feared, I think that's been forestalled. I, I think the focus now is getting the system working and, and getting it run correctly and, and, and getting it executed a lot better because I think what we've seen over the last, you know, certainly the last few months is that it hasn't been. You, Jonathan, I mean, this might be a little naive question, apologies if it is, but could you see a situation where you park VAR right now and just go, right, hang on a minute, let's just sort of take that away, let's take it offline, work it out, do it behind the scenes, not in the glare of the public spotlight, and, you know, because if you do do it, then you could end up in this permanent cul-de-sac where the entire system, if it's all not already undermined, just becomes utterly 
just just laughable. I mean, can, can you imagine that, or is that just simply not workable? Well, it, it could work, but what, what you'd essentially have to do is, is destroy every computer and and piece of software and camera that is uh, that is geared towards th this kind of outcome, because uh, if you take VAR away from the officiating of the game, it's not going to stop broadcasters, it's not going to stop uh, you know, certain you know companies or or, or whoever or, or the media from reanalyzing and it, these games in microscopic detail the way that they are now. So what essentially is going to happen? Yeah, you know, it's going to happen is that a lot more goals are going to be given that weren't goals. A lot more goals are going to be disallowed that are goals, and and it's not it's, it's not going to make anyone happier. It's not going to make any fans more satisfied. It's not going to make any coaches uh, more satisfied. I think you know this is a cultural problem in the game where you know referees and 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 now technology is being scapegoated. And I think we kind of have to work with what we've got because we are we are not going to go back to an era in which m much more wrong decisions are made. I, I, I don't think anyone wants that. And 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 a lot of the the, the, the statistics of the data prove that that VAR has has increased the number of right decisions. It hasn't made it hasn't made people more satisfied, but it has increased the number of right decisions. And I think ultimately that's the direction the game has to go in.